Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking you along for a week of five in a row with us. I share often about five in a row. We have used five in a row curriculum off and on for over 10 years now since my oldest was in preschool. And we are using five in a row this year as our core curriculum for my kindergartner and my third grader. They're doing it together. Um, and so as I've shared a bit of my planning and things this year, I've been asked frequently like what five in a row actually looks like or people saying they don't know if they're doing enough. And so I have been sharing that I planned to film this video and I finally remembered on a Monday to get started on sharing some of our lessons through the week with you. So um, today's video is just going to be that little glimpses through our week with five in a row. We recently rode the book Madeline and so I'm gonna take you along with us Monday through Friday as we do a little bit each day using the book Madeline. So if this is something you're interested in, then give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any more questions about five in a row down in the comments and in the description box, I'm gonna link a bunch of different five in a row uh, videos that I have done. I have plan with me videos, I have overviews, I have um, flip throughs of the updated manuals, tons of five in a row content here on my channel. So make sure you check out those videos if you have more questions because they might answer them for you, but always leave a question in the comments and I'll try to get to that if you have any more questions. So here we go. This is what a week of five in a row looks like in our home. Okay, happy Monday. I'm going to start this week of five in a row. Um, by reading Madeline with my kids. We do like to read the picture book five days in a row, but sometimes if we're short on time, we'll skip one day. I give us a one day allowance, um, especially if it's a longer book, but this one isn't too long. So today we're gonna read the book and then the kids are gonna do the math lesson out of the book and I will show you what that math lesson is. Um, again, all this stuff I prepped ahead of time in the summer, so I've got all of my printouts and things like that here so I just like open it up and see what the lesson plans were that I made so today we're doing math I think tomorrow we're going to be doing the geography lesson which I think the kids are going to probably love the most out of this lesson sometimes it's like the science projects or the art projects that are their favorite but every now and then especially if it involves food I think the geography lesson is their favorite so um, yeah we're going to read the book and then we're going to go ahead and do the math lesson today so did the kids all go to the hospital with the light? They went to visit her in the hospital. She's the only one who rode in the ambulance. Okay. All right, so tell me now, how many girls were there in that house? Twelve. Twelve little girls, and how did they walk? In two what? Lines, straight lines. In two straight lines? And what else did they do in two straight lines? They, they broke bread, um, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. Yeah, so they did everything evenly, didn't they? Mm -hmm. In two straight lines. So if there's 12 girls in two straight lines, how many girls would be in each line? Six. Six, yeah. So it'd be six lines of two mm -hmm. or two lines of six? Mm -hmm. So this is a activity from the five in a row manual, from the five in a row volume one. This is the new edition of their manual. Their old manual didn't have a lot of worksheets. Um, so they're gonna do a grouping project. So, uh, let's see. Okay, so it's just saying that in the manual, they give a suggestion for using um, kinesthetic learning with um, actual, Manipulatives, this is a visual learning a visual learning method, so we're gonna do both to reinforce their understanding of grouping and dividing. So we're gonna start with this and have them circle the groups, and then I'm going to give them something to make groups out of as well. So here's this, Annabeth, and here's this, Eli. So Eli, will you read the instructions there? What does it say? Miss? Circle groups of two. Well, what does it say above it? Miss Clavel divided the girls into groups. How many groups can you find? Okay, so the first one says to circle groups of what? Two. All right, so do you guys want to each go grab a pencil or a marker? Yeah. Annie, how many groups of six are there? Two. Okay, Eli, how many groups of four are there? Three. Annie, how many groups of three are there? Four. Good. Eli, how many groups of two are there? Six. 
Awesome. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing now, but with actual little tokens, like we used from Ping, okay? Token. All right, you guys have your 12 little girls. Put them in two straight lines. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, you're right. Good. Good. How many groups of two are there, Annie? Yes. All right, while they're finishing working with their grouping, I am going to open up to this page so they can see um, about how things are symmetrical. And we're gonna do a little symmetry project as well. So I found this resource online for free. This is gonna be Eli's symmetry mystery picture. And then Annie's already has things filled in on the grid, which will help her out a ton. Um, and they're gonna make this, and then that's gonna be the end of our math with Madeline, but as we move through the week, we can always review grouping and symmetry um, if, and pairing things off if I feel like we need more practice. So that is gonna be their complete math lesson. I'm gonna go ahead and give them this and leave them to work on this for a little bit while I work with some other kids on some stuff. Oh, I definitely know what this is. <laughs> now E6. What? I need your help, Mommy. Black. E6. E9. So that was five in a row for Monday. We read the story, did some grouping activities with paper and, on, and with manipulatives, and did a little symmetry project. We've done the math lessons from the manual, and that's it for them. So we will see you back tomorrow, Tuesday, when we likely do our geography. All right, so five in a row, day two. Today we're doing geography. So I've got our map out where we place our story discs from the different books that we read. So we're gonna put our story disc up and then we are going to eat what? What are we eating? Um, um, new croissants. croissants. Croissants, we love a good um, lesson that involves food. We're also gonna be making a homemade lemonade type drink. And this is a recipe that I actually remember having with my dad in the summer that we spent in Paris. And uh, we're gonna watch a documentary about France and color their flag and all of that. So that is what geography looks like today. So I'm gonna go ahead and read them the book and then we're gonna do all of that. So you guys can eat while I read today, okay? Just like this, while Lucy's at school, her mother Michelle goes to the supermarket, where instead of using a classic metal shopping cart, she uses her own caddy, which is basically a supermarket trolley used to carry heavy groceries around. Pretty much everyone in Paris uses them. Instead. All right, ignore my laundry. We're gonna do our story disc now. So we have our little story disc here, which goes on our map. This is just a way for the kids to connect the stories that they've read with a world map. So guys, what country was Madeline from? London. No. France? You're, yeah, you heard your brother goofing off earlier. Yeah, she was from Paris, France. So you guys go look at the map. Annie, take this. Eli, see if you can help her read. See if you guys can find France. It's in Europe. France? It's in, no ma'am, but it's in Europe. So it's not gonna be far from where we've had some other stories happening. All right, you guys are gonna color the flag of France now. So it's gonna be blue closest to the flagpole. I see blue. Oh, you see it in the picture, perfect. And then what's the color in the middle? White. White. And then what's the color on the other side? White. Good, Good. okay, White. you guys color that and I'm gonna nurse the baby. White. Blue is closest blue. to the flagpole. Blue. Your paper's There's backwards, there you go. Just watch it. You don't even need to color the middle one. Right. Blue Mm-hmm, blue and then white and then red, okay? All right, I'm gonna go get Josephine settled, okay? Okay, so here is the look of the table right now. The kids got distracted a couple times and ran off. So I'm actually holding off the recipe until this afternoon. What happened was I put on a little documentary that was only five or six minutes long, just like an overview of life for a little girl in Paris. And then they wanted to watch more videos. They ended up going into like historical videos about the Eiffel Tower. And they did that for like 25 minutes. So we did the flag, we did the story disc, we had a croissant, we listened to the story and watched some documentaries. 
and the recipe we will just do later because I don't want to exhaust them. Um, so there's plenty of time left in the week to do that. So that was what geography looked like today. All right, day three of five in a row. Today we are doing art. So today we're going to be reading through the book and paying attention to the illustrations as we read. And then the book suggested studying the architecture in the book. So I printed out some pictures of the architecture that is written in the back of the book. They actually tell you in the back of Madeline, here you go, exactly what uh, architecture is on each page. And then the kids are gonna go through the book on their own and match up the architecture with the illustrations and then attempt to do their own illustrations of some of the cool architecture in Paris. So that is their um, art lesson for today. So we're gonna go ahead okay, and do Here's that. the first picture. I want you guys to work together look through all the pictures of the different buildings and see if you can find this is the notre dame cathedral yeah look through together annie look at the picture that eli has first can you guys study that picture really well Think that's it? This is so okay, put it in that page. Close the book. And now we're gonna give you the next picture. Okay, this picture. Can I hold this one? This Can is the to... gardens at Luxembourg. So go ahead and start looking through and see if you can find that one now. All right, so the kids are now trying their hand at their own um, architectural drawings. They took a peek at some of his drawings and um, picked their own picture from what we printed out and then decided um, which one to do. So they're working on it right now. Okay, so we just read the book one more time, but before we read it, we talked about the literary devices of poetry and repetition that come up in the book. And so now the kids are creating their own poems, their own stories um, that rhyme, um, and they're gonna illustrate it. So that's all that we're doing today. Hey guys, happy Friday. Day five of Rowing Madeline, and today we're doing science. So the five in a row manual gave two options for science topics. In the book, um, it talks about Madeline getting her appendix out. And then later on in the book, it talks about the girls wishing they had gotten theirs out because of the attention and gifts she got at the hospital. Um, and so they were saying, boo hoo, we want our appendix out too. And then Miss Clavel said, you know, to be thankful that they're well. So two science topics in the manual, we're doing one of them. The two topics are either to talk about the appendix and the digestive system and all that, or to talk about health habits to stay well. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that one. So I'm gonna have the kids build a healthy meal sticker chart. We're gonna talk about healthy habits, um, balanced meals and things like that. And um, then the other thing we're gonna do is we're going to make that recipe that we didn't make earlier in the week. Things got a little thrown off with hurricane prep and such, um, but I know that they're gonna be really excited to make that recipe, so we're gonna make that to kind of finish up the unit. And then tonight, as a treat for family movie night, we're gonna be watching Madeline, which we rarely watch a movie based on books we read, because not many of the books we read have a movie, but this one does, so it's just gonna be a fun way to finish the unit. So. Um, we're gonna go ahead and talk about healthy habits, and then I have a Melissa and Doug sticker book on meals. Um, so I'm gonna have them build healthy meals, and then I'm probably gonna have them have fun and build like some super unhealthy meals. There's lots of like fun cakes and ice creams and treats in these sticker charts. Um, and then uh, discuss other healthy habits to help keep us well, and then we're gonna make the um, recipe. So that is what we're doing today. All right, so they are building one very healthy meal and one unhealthy meal. Tell me some things that our bodies need every day. Um, they need 
protein, carbs. What else? Annie? And fruits and vegetables. Yeah, good. And veggies. Yeah. Five in a row never becomes less appealing for my older kids too. They always float in for lessons. When we did We Gillis last week, they were all in here for the documentary and the tea time. I'm just gonna it up, like this much? <coughs> a little more probably. <laughs> I would probably add a little more, Eli. Okay, now you can go fill your cup up with water and stir it up and see if it needs any more sweetener. How are you doing over there, Missy? Good. Good? How much water? Um, I, just fill your cup up. Leave some room for to add more. <laughs> All right, let's taste it, Eli, and see if it needs anything else. <laughs> you didn't add enough sugar, did you? <laughs> I like it. Okay, add some more sugar probably. Every time I taste it, <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, I think that's good. You think so? Yeah, because I poured some water. All right, go mix it with some water in the kitchen and then come back and taste it. Okay. Here's a taste, let's see. Yeah. It's, it's good? Really you add enough sugar, you think? Or do you think you need some more? No. <laughs> It's right there, baby. Is it sour? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's good. Okay, <laughs> that's better? Yes, that's good. Should we let the older kids come in and make their own cups? No, oh, no, mommy, let's trick them. Trick them? No, 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 no. That would be mean. No, not without adding not sugar. sugar. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's not sugar. no, that would be mean. Well, it looks like a little flower. I hope that video was helpful and that you enjoyed going along with us throughout the week as we rode the book Madeline. As you can see, it's very short and sweet some days, and then some days it's a little bit more in depth. Like I said earlier, there's tons of info in the description box down below if you want to check out more about Five in a Row. This video isn't sponsored or anything. We just truly love the curriculum, and I wanted to share what a week of it looks like in our home. So if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments down below, and if not, I will see you later. Bye, guys.